If the car of the future is going to be driverless, who actually needs an old-fashioned thing like a steering wheel? So let's just put that away and bring up this lovely high-definition screen here. I can use it to play games or if I want to, I can do some work, maybe look at my emails. So let's bring those up. Of course, there's also a nice sound system here, which I can turn on or there's books over there if I want. This car is the brainchild of Rinspeed. It's a Swiss think tank, which is looking at what the future of the automobile could be like. Doesn't mean it's all going to be like this, but it could be. And of course, when I've finished, and if I want to go back to old fashioned driving and have some fun, well, the steering wheel comes straight back out again. Quite a few people claim that by an autopilot, the passionate driving is being taken away from them. I don't see it that way. I divide between passionate and not passionate. Driving to a meeting, driving to home, I rather push the button for my autopilot to be switched on. Now, you might think that a car like this is just a figment of an engineer's imagination. After all, it has a drone on the back. But in fact, ideas like this are becoming decidedly mainstream. Let me show you. Like this one, for example, and this comes from a mainstream manufacturer. It's the IDS, or Intelligent Driving System, from Nissan. And if you look in here, watch that steering wheel. There she goes, tucked away into the dashboard, and out comes your screen for your in-car entertainment. Well, obviously, this is just another concept car. You can't buy it in the shops, so does it really matter? Well, Nissan says, yes, it does because many of the technologies which are being developed on that prototype over there will soon find their way onto cars like that Qashqai over there, which you really can buy. Theo Leggett, BBC News.